Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the stabilizer jacks on your Geo Pro or your E Pro. Uh, start off by saying I'm going to put some links below uh, to the jacks I used, which are a direct bolt up, no drilling, no anything required. Now, it sounds simple, but I'm going to show you a few reasons it's not if you've waited too long to actually do this, like I have. Uh, so here we go. I'll kind of show you uh, what the original looks like, what a new one looks like, and what it looks like uh, and how to install these. We're gonna start off here on the front side. The factory stabilizer jacks, um, just simply put, they're trash. Uh, I'm shocked. This is a two year old jack. Now, may have a little salt on it, you know, but and I've painted it multiple times, <laughs> wired brushed it off, painted it multiple times. These things are junk, bottom line. Uh, and they also are uh, not really stabilizing the camper very well, even not uh, extended all the way out. Um, they're just flimsy. Here are the new stabilizer jacks, uh, or one of them. Uh, and uh, this is a 6,500 pound. Again, you're going to find it in the link below. Uh, I'll also post a picture up so you can kind of see the side-by-side. -side, or actually, I'll take you over there and show you the side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, these are just, just beefy. Uh, they just feel stronger. They're heavier, uh, so you got to account for that. Uh, but I'm really, really happy to see, uh, or excited to see, how well these are going to stabilize the camper out. Uh, again, links below. They're the 6,500 pounds. These ran me about 100. I think it was about 140 bucks uh, for four. Uh, so yeah, I'll post that link below. So here's a side by side comparison. You can see this is just. It's just, it's just junk. I don't know any other way to explain it. This one's just heavier duty, uh, much heavier duty. Now, the one thing I did, um, I was hoping that this would have the hardware in it. It did not have the hardware in it. So just jumped over to Ace Hardware, bought some 3 8 nuts, hardened, uh, or 3 8 bolts, and then bought some, uh, some nuts, about 20 bucks worth. Uh, but these are also hardened. Uh, as well so hopefully they'll last a little bit longer and not rust out tools you're going to need you're going to need two 9 16 inch sockets in an ideal scenario mine were rusted to no end these will not get that off uh, so i had to resort to violence i'm joking no violence um, but i had to resort to a grinder a sawzall and if that didn't work, we were going to turn them into uh, liquid. But I didn't have to do that. So, yeah, just don't wait on these. That's the thing. Don't wait. If you see corrosion, if you see rust on these things, just don't wait. Go ahead and get them replaced with something a little higher quality now. Because if I had done this a year ago, I wouldn't be in this situation right now. So, but that's what it looks like there once you get it off. Um, and again, these new ones, they directly bolt up. There's no, no drilling required. I know there are some out there uh, that do require additional drilling. But as you can see here, these bolt holes line right up factory with the factory, uh, factory holes. So, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep on, keep on trucking with this one. Um, you know, again, really the only tools you should need would be uh, the ratchets, uh, two of them, but, uh, yeah, this turned into a project. So I'm gonna keep on trucking. If you got any questions, please post them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions I can for you. Um, you should probably plan on, if they're not rusted out, you should probably plan, plan on at least an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Uh, but again, that's if you're not fighting rusty bolts and those bolts rust quick. I'm shocked. So, um, but anyway, hey, like and subscribe down below. For more content we'll have more content coming out this week um and uh again if you have any questions post it below thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next one thanks